I found that dress just unforgiving completely. Maybe if you didn't know what the challenge was, it was like, oh, that's kind of a cute dress. But it still didn't fit her. And frankly, it was just uninspired. It lacked everything that it needed. You could have built up the neckline. There was a million directions to go. She was a genius She was a dream, dream model. Rebecca, what did you think about Angel? I hated the way that that girl looked in that dress. It seemed lifeless. Usually there's an art to it in Angel's work. It's like, oh, funny, interesting, I like it. Right. It's, it's becoming in some way or it's amusing in some way. In this, in this particular case, it was awful. Oh, I can feel the energy backstage. We're getting ready for the show, and there she is, Rebecca Weinberg. How you doing, Rebecca? I am stressing out. <laughs> this Naturally, is, the, is the calm before the storm for you? It is. I, so basically what I'm coming to, to do now is I'm trying to make sure that the lineup is all clear so I can understand it and tell all the kids that are working for me, you know, who's going when and what's happening. You spoke about doing prep a week ago. What does that entail? That entails um, Liz bringing or me going to and looking at the samples, figuring out which pieces we want to put together, if they're, if they're um, pieces, not a dress, you know, which, like, let's say you'll take something like this skirt, trying to look through the entire collection and figure out which top we want to work with that skirt or vice versa. And also um, choosing which shoes to put with which looks once we basically put them together. You know, we just went with, like, a gorgeous classic you know, textural pump. Oh, this is one of my favorites. I was so hot to get this shoe. Get this shoe on the road. Right. We started about, I guess like five days ago, we basically started to put the looks together and decide which shoes went with which look and then which model went in each look and so on and so on. These are great. These we just gave to Britney Spears and these are amazing. It looks like it's been run over by a truck, which I quite like. And do you have more than one pair of these? I have two. Okay, cool. Two. We'll take them both. I'm backstage in Bryant Park right after the Nicole Miller show. She really departed when much younger, but still very wearable. So incredible. And Rebecca Weinberg styled the show. She and Nicole have collaborated for many years, and it was just brilliant. You and Nicole just keep doing this over and over, and it just keeps getting better every time. We had a great time this season. I think that really the concept was very strong. Um, we had a lots of uh, different silhouettes and lots of different fabrics to work with, and I just think it really, I'm so, I get on my knees. I'm very happy. It came out really well. I have to tell you, you know, from an audience that could be 25 to 65, which is what we love, there was a silhouette for everybody. There's something there. for everyone, absolutely. A little youngness, even younger than that she's gone before, and actually carrying it all the way through for some older clientele. I think we really did a big barometer. It and I think seemed it's like really the spirit of youth without being uh, non-wearable. Do you right. know what I mean? Absolutely. Was that Was that a thought process in the beginning? I think it was, and um, I think that we just edited and edited and edited, and I think we finally got it right. You